Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 23rd, 2024 full moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the good things that the YouTube algorithm likes. So thank you so very much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay. So we're crowned here with the six of pentacles. So this six of pentacles is things coming into balance and also looking at what needs balance in our life. There's a sense also of feeling like I'm always having, I'm always having to look for something or I'm always having to have my hand out. There's the hand of the child coming forward is very prevalent here. And it's very interesting. There's a sense of our inner child needing some connection or some balance to come forward with. It brings us to the chariot reverse. Now this is strong cancer energy. So if you have cancer in your chart, if you have cancer in your life, that comes through very powerfully, but also negatively. Like this can be a challenging part of your personality during this time. This person can be a bit challenging to you during this time. It's also the time frame of June 21st to July 22nd. Emotions feel like they're everywhere. It feels like there's highs, right? Then there's really low lows and there's just intensity coming forward. And yeah, it's like needing to rein in our emotions, but again, our emotions being kind of all over the place. So just being aware of that during this time. We then have the death card reverse. This is Scorpio energy. Time frame is October 23rd to November 21st. This, again, if we have Scorpio in our chart, if we have Scorpio in our life, that comes through powerfully. But again, with a negative kind of undertone to it. And it's interesting because we are Pisces, right? We're water sign energy. Next water sign energy is Cancer and then Scorpio. So there's an intensity coming forward here with emotions. So just be very, very mindful about that during this full moon. Full moons affect the tides of things, affect the water of things. So we're going to be seeing that during this time. Be very aware of your emotions. There's a sense of resisting a transformation and resisting a way that spirit is trying to move you forward. So be mindful about that. We then have the high priestess. I love that we have three major arcana cards. This is going to be a very intense, very powerful moon for us. The veil is being lifted from our eyes. We're going to be seeing things more clearly, more openly, more honestly than we have before. We're going to be looking with the high priestess with the sense of where do I need to be for me? You know, what truth do I need to live by? How do I need to open up the door? It brings us then to the six of wands. This is a celebration of self. This is moving us forward in, in blessing, in connection. The, the six of wands is a job well done. And then we have the page of swords reverse. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If we have air sign energy in our chart, if we have air sign energy in our life, this can come through again, it can come through a little bit negatively, but it also is a sense of I'm not listening to my inner child speaking to me. There are going to be gifts that spirit gives us for one reason or another. We're not really connecting with those gifts, even though we have the high priestess here, even though the veil is being lifted, even though we are seeing ourselves in a very different light, in a very different way, in a, a power moving us forward, connecting with that power is going to be a tricky bit for us, is going to be a little bit more intense for us than we want it to be. Yet we are going to be celebrating ourselves. We are going to be moving forward in our power and in our distinction with the six of pentacles, though we need we need to remember our inner child. We need to put things into balance, especially with money. What we value as much as money is coming forward during this time. And it's going to be a sense of how do I harmonize? How do I harmonize? All right, so let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a rain cloud in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday, <laughs> Sunday in a completely separate video. So hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when that video comes up. And here we have magical reverse. We need to connect with the magical aspect of our life, with the magical aspect of existence. We can feel a little bit 
discombobulated or disconnected from the magic of ourselves, even though, again, the high priestess comes forward. So the magic is quite strong within us. And yet there's, there's just for some strange reason, we're not fully seeing it and we're not fully connecting with it. Our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. This is divine wisdom. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. And this is wisdom raining down on us, connecting with us, opening up doors to us. We are going to be connected. If we quiet ourselves down and we center ourselves, we are going to be surprised with the knowledge that comes forward, with the power that comes forward. Our energy to be mindful of during this time, angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. This is the nine of cups. We can, we can want a lot of people to show up to the table. So what that means is we can have a real sense of feeling forgotten. Nobody is celebrating us. Nobody is, is seeing us. Nobody is understanding us. That type of energy can come forward because there can be a part of our personality during this time that it's mean to say needy, okay? But just know that that's how it comes forward. It's like we need something. There's something that we're craving. There's something that we're needing. It's very emotional. It's very personal. We want somebody else to give it to us. And yet we are going to have to see it for ourselves. We're going to have to see ourselves for ourselves and embrace us for us. And that is going to be a very powerful thing with this with this full moon in Scorpio. And it's going to be a very important thing. And oh, okay. So the full moon is in Scorpio, right? Scorpio is reversed, meaning that this moon is tricky for us. This moon is intense. It is powerful. It is showing us things that have been hidden from us before. It is going to mess with our emotions. It's going to make us more sensitive. It's going to make us feel like we don't have the footing that we want, or we don't have everything worked out perfectly. And yet the high priestess is saying that after we come out of this energy of feeling like things just got turned upside down, we're going to be like, oh, oh, that's what it was saying? Like, oh, that's it? There's going to be this awakening. There's going to be this insight. There's going to be this knowledge that comes forward. And we have to embrace our inner voice, our inner self to let that knowledge come forward. Because there's something here where we learn to silence ourselves when we were little, all right? And we're still doing that. We're still doing that. We're still dealing with that energy of, I need to sil silence me. I cannot move forward fully in the power of me because it's supposed to be this way or it's supposed to be that way or I'm not supposed to be this or I'm not supposed to be that. And we're coming to balance with ourselves. And that's crowning this whole entire reading with the six of pentacles of what is out of harmony. When it comes to money, when it comes to what we value as much as money, what is out of ha harmony and has been since we've been little, since, you know, since others had more power over ourselves than we had over us. And there can be times during this full moon where, you know, leading up to the full moon, a little bit after the full moon, where it doesn't feel like we have that power, where we have the reins on our life the way that we want to. And that energy comes forward here with the chariot and it makes us very emotional. It's like, but I'm supposed to be over here. I'm supposed to be like this. This is where I'm supposed to be at this time. And spirit saying, why? Why are you judging yourself so harshly? This is your story. This is your existence. It is time to embrace you with love. And it's time to embrace you with power, with determination of self. The six of wands is like, I'm celebrating me. Not all the things I haven't achieved that I should be at already, but I am celebrating me for being me. And as I do so, the veil is lifted. As I do so, my voice is found. As I do so, this moon, even though it's going to send you for a bit of a ride here. Pisces, it has you claiming your magic again. That spark, that thing that made you stand out again when you were small and the rest of the world was big. And all of a sudden here, Pisces, it's like, oh, but this is me. Oh, but this is what I want. And note that with this full moon, we are going to see what we set as an intention, okay? In the, the 
full moon in Scorpio that happened six months ago. All right. So if we keep a moon journal, that would be very beneficial. Do I do one? No, I don't. But, <laughs> but, but spirit is saying, you know, it would be good. So I'm going to pass that on to you. So if you keep a moon journal, and you look at things, what is coming to fruition during this time? Okay, what is coming forward? And if you keep a diary, that can also be a great way to just kind of like flip back, say, okay, where was I, where was I, you know, in the new moon in Scorpio? Where am I now at the full moon in Scorpio? And we're going to feel like we haven't achieved what we set out to achieve. And yet that's our emotions playing a trick on us. We are going to be so much further ahead than we thought we were going to be. And there's just a need here to listen to your inner voice. Spirit is going to be sending you messages. And yet we're going to be thinking, oh no, I don't, I don't need to listen to this. Or, oh, that's not the message I wanted. And spirit is going to be spending, sending us a lot of messages. So just be aware of this. We're going to be looking at things one very specific way. And when we step back, like when we come out of this moon period and we're like, oh, oh, that was it? Like, we're going to be surprised. We're going to be surprised how many signs came to us that that we kind of missed. So just be aware of this, calm things down, know that spirit wants you to connect with your inner self, to quiet the world, to, to look at your magic, to look at you. The veil is going to be lifted. Certain lies are going to come out, certain things that we held on to and said, oh, well, that's absolutely true. We're going to look at now and say, you know what? I don't want that. I don't need that. That's not me. It moves us to our subconscious spirit message, which is radiant reverse. We need to let ourselves shine. We we are going to have a bit of difficulty during this time, Scorpio, letting ourselves shine, stepping into our radiance, stepping into our power, stepping into us. So just being aware of that is going to be important because if we're aware that, okay, things are going to get tricky. Okay. Things are going to be really emotional. Okay. I, I need to be celebrating. Like I need to be my biggest cheerleader during this time. We can counteract all the feeling of being discombobulated, everything that's out of balance, we can, we can counteract it. It moves us to our chakra message, which is the heart chakra. This is, this is play and it's letting our heart chakra shine forward. And it is also knowing that we as human beings, we cannot play if we do not feel safe. And so here, when our heart chakra is saying embrace play, it is feeling safe within our world. It's feeling safe within our skin, ourself, and it is saying it's time to celebrate my life and my existence. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is strength. So this is Leo energy. This can also be, you know, Leo is ruled by the sun. So this can also be, hey, be mindful. The sun is in Taurus. Taurus and Scorpio are sister signs. It can be intense, right? The 23rd can be an intense day. We can find that things are a little bit more intense leading up to this full moon might equals right. And we're going to think that. And yet we're going to find that there needs to be a gentler strength to us. Might doesn't equal right. And we're going to rebel against that within ourselves. And we're going to rebel against that with with other people. Strong Leo energy comes forward. Just be mindful of that Leo energy. If it's in our chart, if it's with another, that we, we really don't want to be bullied by it. And we don't want to be pushed around by it or manipulated by it. We have the Ace of Swords reversed, our subconscious tarot message. We have the Page of Swords reversed. So we are going to be accepting this gift, right? But we don't see it quite yet. We don't see the power that God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing us. The gift of our voice, the gift of ourselves, the gift of cutting through doubts, fears, negativities, hurts, pains, disappointment, and claiming our our power and really stepping into ourselves. All right. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves, of this full moon and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
may you move forward in peace and in harmony. Pisces, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye. Oh, and have a blessed moon. Bye.